The president received a warm welcome at the Vatican. There were smiles and handshakes, and both men appeared to be happy to meet each other. The audience in the papal library went for nearly an hour, then an exchange of gifts. Later, at a briefing next to Italy's prime minister, President Obama spoke of the encounter. You know, my day started with uh, the great honor of meeting His Holiness Pope Francis. And like people around the world, uh, I've been incredibly moved by his compassion, his message of inclusion. Uh, I was grateful to have uh, the opportunity to speak with him about the responsibilities that we all share to care for the least of these, uh, the poor, uh, the excluded. For Mr. Obama, meeting Francis was a chance to highlight the areas where they agree and improve relations damaged by a dispute over the new U.S. health care law, which requires coverage of contraceptives. Bishops objected, saying Catholic employers should not be forced to provide coverage of contraceptives and alleged the law violated their freedom of religion. The church and the Obama administration differ sharply on issues like contraception, abortion, and homosexual unions. Mr. Obama said the conversation barely touched on the thorny issues. His Holiness and the Vatican have been clear about their position on uh, a range of issues. Uh, some of them uh, I differ with. Uh, most I heartily agree with. Among the topics the Pope raised was immigration, and that's what was on the minds of protesters demonstrating Thursday against the Obama administration's deportation policies. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, at the Vatican.